Hey everybody, this is Wichita Richard from LAVD Gaming with another episode of Like a Vulture Brew. This will be the last episode in the series for a while. We're going to be putting on hiatus because we're about to start our new series on the Atari 2600. But before that, let's go ahead and dive right into this episode. We're not doing coffee. Today we're doing a special English Earl Grey tea from London brought to you by one of my friends. Let's do this. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is go ahead and get some hot water. So I'm just gonna have this empty Keurig and we're just gonna go ahead and get some water brewing here. Just heating up water. Okay guys, so one of my friends went to Europe a little while back and she went to England and she also went to Paris, France. And she brought me back a few things. First thing she brought me was this lovely postcard of the Louvre Museum in France. After that, she gave me one of these. Now this is some tea from England and of course England is known for their tea. This particular tea looks like it's a Earl Grey tea, and it comes from Ahmad Tea Limited. So she brought me this back, and we're going to try it out. Since you have to brew it, what a better place to do it than here. So let's go ahead and take a take a look at the tea itself. Let me open this up. I don't know a thing about tea. That actually smells really good though. Here, let me show you the tea and it's loose leaf. So I do have a tea ball here and then we do have our hot water here that we had warmed up in the Keurig. And let's see here. We're going to snap that and open that up. Now what I was reading is that for tea, for a 68 ounce cup, it needs about one teaspoon of loose leaf. So let me go ahead and make a mess here. Grab a teaspoon of this. I don't know if it's a heaping teaspoon or what. I'm just going to go ahead and level it off a little bit. I don't want to overdo it. We'll put it in our tea ball here. Close it up, and we're going to take this hook, put it on. Sorry, can't see. Put it on our cup here, and we're going to let it steep a little bit. I'm just going to let that sit for a little bit. So while we're letting that sit, let's go ahead and talk about this little container here. It's super cute. It's of a little double-decker bus. This says it's an Earl Grey tea. This is the back of the chat. No good like that. All right, and then there's the side. <laughs> and here's the bottom, in case you wanted any information. It's got it right there, so. I'm kind of excited to try this. I'm gonna bounce it up and down a little bit. I think this tea might be a little bit ready. I don't know, how long do you let tea steep for? Stoop? Steep? Sit? Brew? I don't know, I'm playing with it. It's like mm -hmm, bobbling it up and down inside the water. Yeah, I don't know. I've been rambling on here for a while. Maybe it's time for me just to shut up. That was not a brilliant move on my part. Okay, that must mean it's ready. <laughs> must mean it's ready. Fate says, hey, okay, you're done playing with this. All right, so let's go ahead and fish this out of here. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. 
All right. So <laughs> here we are. Here's our our tea. Let me go bring this in for you so you can see it. Not really much to see, really. It's just kind of a dark liquid at this point. And once again, English tea, it's Earl Grey tea from Ahmed Tea Limited, London, England. Okay, the smell of it, the smell of it just smells like, you know, your average hot tea, you know, your, your standard tea. But once you start drinking it, I mean. It's like this nice bouquet of flowers. It's very floral. That's actually, that's very enjoyable. Very enjoyable. Yeah, that's that's extremely enjoyable. It's just a nice bright floral that just hits you. I mean, it just it, and it, it hits and it swells. It's very nice. I would recommend this for sure. So I love it. Thank you for the gift. I, I love it so much. Thank you. Um, I know I probably said thank you when. <laughs> you first gave it to me, but thank you so much. And also, thank you for the postcard. I enjoy them both. I still have them. Obviously, I still have them. And I want to thank you all for joining me on this episode of Like a Vulture Brew. This is the last Like a Vulture Brew episode for a while. We are going to be focusing our attention on our Like a Vulture Do Gaming Atari series. So, without further ado, have a lovely one, and we will see you later. <laughs>